Hey, welcome back to the channel. We got to talk about something. Yeah, this bad boy overheating. I have read numerous reports, gotten comments on my videos saying that the Hero 10 overheats. Well, I dug into it. I got to figure out why and what can be done to prevent it. And so, yeah, I did some digging and I watched a couple of videos where other people got the Hero 10 to overheat. And I thought back to the 200 hours of recording I've done with this, my Hero 9, and I got to thinking, has this thing ever overheated? And it has. I am gonna put you in the shade. Hopefully you don't overheat again. And you saw that video, right? If you're a Harley guy, you wanna know how to wash your bike, I'll leave a link up here. Uh, but either way, it overheated there. It was 100 degrees out, sitting in full sun. So that was the Hero 9. Would my Hero 10 be overheating? So I had to do my own tests. Test number one, 1080 resolution, 30 frames a second, which is what I filmed my moto vlogs in. And for this, I had both cameras sitting right there because for completeness sake, I wanted both cameras involved. So I had the 10 and nine sitting flat on my desk. The fingers were folded, no mounts, no airflow. Ambient temp was 78 degrees. The Hero 9 ran for 131 minutes, give or take. And the Hero 10 ran for almost 130 minutes. So they didn't overheat on that test. So that was test number one. So for the second test, we had 71 degree ambient air. The cameras were leaning against each other on my desk and they were propped up by a battery. Yes, yeah, that, that's how I ran the test. And we were at 2.7K for 60 frames a second. And the Hero 9 ran for just under 80 minutes. At the end of it, it was 128 degrees Fahrenheit. And it, it died due to battery draining down. It never actually overheated. The 10, on the other hand, dun da da dun just over 38 minutes, and it overheated. And I checked with a temperature gun, 127 degrees. Yeah, that, that's pretty toasty. But GoPro has reached out to other people doing these tests and said, yeah, well, the Hero 10 has thermal protection and built in, so it won't let it melt down. But go figure. Which brings us to our third test. And that was at 4K, 30 frames a second again. And again, leaning on the desk, fingers unfolded. And in this case, it didn't overheat. The Hero 9 ran for a shade over 93 minutes. The Hero 10 ran for 79 minutes. So I thought that was a really interesting result, given that it would run twice as long at a higher resolution, but half the frame rate. So I did more tests. I've recorded with this camera almost 25 hours now, and I'm still getting ready to do a, a full review of it. And I recorded the other day for 45 or 50 minutes while riding at 1080, 30, it was 90 degrees out, no issues whatsoever. I recorded at 4K at night, it was 68, 70 degrees out. And th that didn't die either. That was 4K, 30 frames a second. And then I filmed something here in my backyard and I let the camera run for 35 minutes at 1080, 30, stabilization on boost mode. And it was 90 degrees out and sunny and it never overheated. One final test I ran was I left the camera on but not necessarily recording for two and a half hours. I rode all up and down the highway, just boom, two hours, two out, two and a half hours. It was uh, about a hundred miles and it was 90 degrees, full sun. The camera was on the whole time, set up to record, connected to the remote and no issues, none whatsoever. But a lot of the people that do moto vlogging, they tend to run at 1080 or 2.7K and not much higher and they either do 30 or 60 frames a second. And here's the difference. Usually your camera's mounted on one of these things. Mine's mounted on the side here usually. It's usually hanging right about there. No, there. Yeah, it's usually hanging right about there. So what conclusions can we take from this? Well, GoPro themselves have said that 75% of videos shot with GoPro cameras are under a minute and 10 seconds long. 70 seconds for those paying attention at home. They've also said that there's thermal protection built in, like I mentioned before. And from my testing, and I've done six or eight tests now, I can conclude that airflow is your friend. If you keep this bad boy moving, it will record no problem. It will get warm. 
I, I have gotten it warm, but it won't shut down. And that's even wrapped around with the media mod here, or wrapped in it rather. The media mod you would think would kill even more airflow because it's, it's plastic. It's not even working like a proper heat sink would, which would be aluminum. I mean, really, these things are doing a lot. Yeah, you know, for such a tiny package to do all the stabilization and handle audio and video and everything else, color profiles, etc., I think it's pretty darn impressive. So if your use case is anything less than the max specs and you're not recording for 20 or 30 minutes at a time, I think you'll be just fine. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree, or even if you've had your own Hero 10 or 9 overheat. Personally, I think it works really well. And especially with my uses, it'll be just fine. And uh, this one's been recording for 12 minutes now, and it's a little warm. I'm gonna shoot the thing there. 97 degrees. Yeah, see that? 97 degrees. And right now the ambient temperature in here is 75, plus the light that's behind the, the phone there. So not exactly cool, not exactly warm, but there's also very little airflow in here. So take that for what you will. Anyway, I ran some tests. If you want me to run more, let me know in the comments below. But I really wanted to get this out there and get the discussion started. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button now. Or mash the like button at least, you know, it's down there somewhere. So until the next video, Stay safe, stay cool. John out.